Hello, Great Wolves. Um, so today's lesson is going to be based on uh, packaging, and that's one of the most important uh, integrated topics in map literature because it also uses area and volume as part of uh, the questions and problem solving. So what I would like to do now is I'm going to screen share, and then you'll see the content on your screen. And we'll go from there and I'll explain to you what you need to consider and those types of things. So packaging, grade 12 mathematical literacy. Um, so the things that you need to consider is whether it is a area-based question or whether it is a volume-based question. Um, what you also need to consider is the shapes that you will be dealing with. Are they triangles? squares, rectangles, or circles. You also need to know the formula of these uh, shapes. Take note that if um, if you are in the test, they, there is a probability, high probability that they will give you the formulas, but just uh, general good practice is knowing the formulas um, and having them with you in your head. Uh, also, what you need to consider when looking at the packaging question is that you take note of all the lengths, the widths, and the heights of all or both objects and make sure that the same units, same units, meaning that um, if you're going to divide later, you, it, all the units need to be in centimeters or in millimeters. And if they are different, there will be a need for you to convert those units to the same, to the same units. So make sure that you consider those lengths, widths, and heights. Fourth thing that you need to consider are terms like diameter and the scale drawing. Um, and by, by grade 12, this should be familiar to you. And if it's not, uh, you're gonna have a hard time understanding what to do um, with certain questions. So let's look at the question. Um, so the, the context of the question is based on a father that has a business that ships boxes of tuna and the, he's buying new boxes and he wants to find out how many of these uh, cans can fit into one layer of these new boxes that he wants to use for his shipping. So let's read. The boy's father orders new large shipping boxes that are 45 centimeters long and 16 centimeters wide. If the diameter of one round can is five centimeters, and that's something that you should note, how, how many cans, how many cans can see to fit only one layer deep into the new large boxes? Uh, for this question, we're not gonna draw a scale drawing, but um, we are gonna be considering it. So what you need to consider is the heights and all that you need to do is take the measurement of the diameter and divide it into the lengths to see how many cans can fit horizontally and vertically into the box. That will tell us then the amount of cans that can fit into one layer of the box because it, it specifically states that you need to consider only one layer deep. So if you look at the answer, what I said was we need to look at the lengths always. So it's important that you look at the lengths, the widths. Okay. In this question, they don't uh, want you to consider the height, but if they want you to consider the, the height as well, they will give you a measurement for the height and you need to divide that as well. So length of large box is 45 centimeters. So because the diameter of the can is five centimeters, um, you divide that and then you will get nine cans that fit horizontally. In the width side of the, of the large box, it is 16 centimeters. So you take five centimeters of the diameter of one can and you check how many cans can fit along the side. So 16 divided by five and you see 3,2. So it's very important to realize that the comma two there is what a can that can't fit in there. So you need to round down to make sure that all the cans fit. 
So Sipo can fit nine rows and three cans each. Nine times three gives you 27 cans. Sipo can fit 27 cans on chocolate of chocolate biscuits into the new large shipping boxes. So there is a picture, a scaled picture of how it looks. And what you can see is you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine across and one, two, three down. That is the measurement of the width and that is the measurement of the length. And what you can see is that they are dividing the length by the diameter to see how many cans can fit into the length of the box. Good. Thank you. And I hope that we can take this information and use it in a different context, in a different problem to solve. And here is an example of how I used it with a lesson previously. Oh, that's tough.